fast with all of them. Um, I'm doing some Americana music, so you'll hear all sorts of different songs. And also, just so that everyone can see, my name is Kirsten. I am the music director. <laughs> I'm filming now, ready to Ah, you're filming Wally just in case because you knew what was going to happen. I knew it was coming time. soon, yeah, I didn't want to miss anything. Because that, you know, Wally, you missed him. It's like the, the fourth door you said, and it was my song.
Before our 50 states were founded, Native Americans lived all across the United States. Did you know that a powwow is a Native American social gathering? At a powwow, Native Americans sing, dance, and celebrate. In Native American music, you'll hear the drum, representing a heartbeat. Our next song is a Native American social song that is usually accompanied by a slow passing <laughs> It was composed in 1840. 
Buddy Name. Today has been accepted for reviews for many. Now is being known as one of the most America's most well known folk songs. This song is all about feeling fortunate for what you have, as well as the virtues of a simple and free life. especially for those trying to escape through the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad was a secret system of safe houses in the 1800s. It helped enslaved African Americans escape the world. Follow the Dripping Horn is a code song that instructed enslaved people to follow the Big Dipper constellation. From this constellation, they could find a North Star.
they were like we're about to win 1865 with the 13th Amendment. This was a huge step for America, though we had not reached equal rights for people of all color. Civil rights movement was a struggle during the 1950s and 1960s for blacks to gain equal rights under the law in the United States. Though there were countless activists fighting for justice during this movement, one of the most well-known was Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King's message of achieving equality through nonviolent means connected many people during the battle for equal rights. Dr. King's famous I Have a Dream speech is perhaps his most famous speech. Here's a reading of part of that speech. Even though Even though we face the difficulties of today as well. I still have a dream. It's a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creator. That we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hall of Jordan the sons of former and the sons of former slave owners. People sit together at the table of butter. I have a dream that one day here in the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into a waste of the feet of injustice. I have a dream that little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin. By the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day we're in a movie of us. <laughs> Little blood. <laughs> oh. I have a dream that one day, right here in Alabama, little black boys and little black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white but a white girl that's sister and brother. I have a dream today. Our next song was sung and quoted at many different strikes, marches, and gatherings from the civil rights movement. Please enjoy our performance of We Shall Overcome.
Struggles for freedom were just cruelly 
struggles, the American dream was born and the American value were forged. For our final song, Peace Run, we hope that you embrace coming together in freedom and peace as a people that we will build together.